few cases in the last uh, week, but um, on the whole, we can see that things will be improving for next year. It's Friday evening, and I'm paying a visit to Bishop Wall School in my constituency and meeting the head teacher, Mrs. Brody, who was a student herself at the school um, and has been battling the most terrible difficulties in the last year. I mean, how are you coming through this now? Is it is it is it getting better? Uh, yes. So um, we've had um, a few cases in the last um, week, but um, on the whole, we can see that things will be improving for next year. And uh, during the course of this year, you've had a lot of challenges to to uh, defeat, but you're ending the year in pretty good nick, aren't you? Yes, so we're really proud of our achievements this year with our staggered start times and the zoning of the school, um, the introduction of the face masks and our lateral flow testing. Um, and at the moment, we're really planning ahead for um, our curriculum and moving forward for next year into hopefully a more sense of normal. And on, in terms of the bounce back funds, and the, the funds to sort of help top up some of the kids who've missed out on the how's that going? Um, this year we've had some graduate mentors working with us in English, Math and Science um, and we've been using them for small group tuition, one-to-one -one tuition um, and we're really, really hoping that that will roll forward into next year and get the support we can do that we need for COVID at the post-recovery curriculum catch-up next year. Well, I will be backing you on that as I back all of schools in my uh, constituency and, you know, this is a very good school. It's heavily, heavily oversubscribed. And I've known it pretty well for the last 20 years. It's a great school. And thanks to you and all your colleagues at the school for all you're doing, both for the students and for the wider community too. Thank you.